Hello, Huskies back again with more Los Angeles Kings franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. We are back, whoopsie, go ahead and turn that off for now. Uh, we are back after a disappointing first round exit yet again. Um, the plan here is to try and trade to the number one overall pick using uh, Leeson gonna be tough it's gonna be very tough and the other issue that was pointed out that I did not realize is the first overall pick is held by Anaheim Anaheim is not a team that I want to give Leeson to <laughs> um, I don't think they're a very good team but I feel like he can make them a good team and if I can avoid that I'm absolutely going to I should make sure to sign. He is an RFA. So I should be able to trade him. Um, I want to look at Anaheim. Lindholm, Hargrave, Raquel. See, they don't have any forwards. They don't have much of anything. Maybe trading them there wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I mean, they've got good defense. Larson, Scandella, Hargrave, Lindholm. But, I mean, their forwards are just trash. They have no forwards, and they're gonna have to pay Leeson a hefty amount. They've got a decent amount of cap space, but if I can give that to give them, if they want to trade their first overall pick, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I might see who has the second round, the second overall pick, and get that, and then trade the second overall pick to the first. So Nashville, does Nashville want to trade the first their second overall pick? They do not. Granted, that's probably an easier get. Then, do they even want Leeson? They do. So, what's the trade value on that? It looks pretty close. Actually, it looks like we have more. I don't know if I want to do straight up. So, let's go to Anaheim and see if they want to trade it. It looks like they do. They don't need a goalie because they have Gibson. They don't want to trade the first overall pick, and they would have too many goalies. Oh man, I, do they want draft picks? They want everything but the first round picks, you bastards. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's let's back out of this real quick. Uh, I can't call a timeout, view draft class. Hopefully this doesn't keep the clock running, it shouldn't. I think this pauses it. Yeah, it does. Alright, so in the top five we have... Uh, Riley, exact elite. This is the guy that I want to take, Curtis Riley. His numbers are sick. He's going to be NHL ready. He's 18. The other guy that's up here is this week's kid and Sims. Sims's numbers are aren't solid, and Bufflin's aren't real solid as well. I mean, Riley's the clear number one overall pick in this draft, unless Walls is something significantly better. There's also this bird kid, who again, his, he's he's gonna need some time. It's pretty much Riley or bust. I don't have enough info on Weeks or Sim. I would probably t ah, see his stats don't look that great either. Sim looks like he might have decent stats. I mean, five-star defense would be lovely. Walls looks to be a four-star player. And then you go to Riley, and he's just... Riley's going to go number one. He's got... There's no way he doesn't go number one. So I'm going to trade for Nashville. I'm going to get Nashville's second overall pick. Because they want Leeson. This might go through by itself, but I want to see if I can get something back with it. A first and a third for Leeson. Just a touch. Do I want... Nashville's going to have good picks, so... Uh, let's give them my fourth and see if this is enough. There we go. Alright, so we got the second overall pick. Now... I want that first overall pick. 
I want it. I need it. They don't want mine. This is going to be tough. This is going to be very tough. Because there's not many people that I want to move here. Medium top four. Like Isaac, I want to hold on to. So I've got the extra centers. Where's Thompson? Thompson's got the lowest trade value. Oh, man. I like DeBrus. Mikhailski, I want to see what he turns into. Colin White's not going anywhere. These three aren't going anywhere. Do you want draft picks? I'd be willing to give you my second. And one of my centers. I'll give you Suzuki. So, Suzuki is second in the first for the first overall pick. Woo! <laughs> I might have been able to get away with a little less, but that's one extra center that I wasn't going to use. Suzuki, I mean, he looked like he was doing all right, but I'm taking Riley. We had to get Riley. He was ab He's absolutely the number one overall pick in this draft. We're taking Riley. 75 overall. So not what I was expecting. Three and a half star defense. Three and a half star offense. All right. Well, 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 let's let's see what the other picks are in store here. I'm not gonna. I didn't want to trade. I went to the screen by accident. So I'm interested to see if we made the right pick here. All right. So Walls was a 60. This is the guy I was gonna take. I mean, he's average across the board. He's nothing to write home about. Riley can play NHL time right right now. No, I know. I want to sim the pick. Damn it. <laughs> Exit. There we go. All right, so sim pick. Let's see. So seventy six. So sim was a seventy six overall. What were his stats? He's a defensive defenseman. I mean, pretty much just swap. They're pretty much the same player. Just one's offensive, one's defensive. I prefer the offensive defenseman. God damn! I keep hitting a button to trade for pick. I don't want to trade for pick. <laughs> All right, sim option, sim pick. All right, so I'm glad I didn't take Bufflin. Weeks was a top four defenseman medium. Alright, so again, not the best. James Neal for a f for my first. James Neal's like 40, isn't he? I'm surprised he's still in Vegas. He's 35. Right, I mean, that's, that's not terribly old, but he's still putting up goals, but I don't... No, thank you. Loctokainen was a medium elite goalie. I mean, I don't need a goalie. I've got Boyd. Oh, you took a grinder in the first round? Come on, San Jose. What are you doing? Alright, so this draft wasn't the best, it seems. Alright, so there's Bird. Josh Bailey. For, get out of here. I don't want Josh Bailey. So Bird was a medium elite. 54. Like I said, he was definitely somebody that needed more experience, whereas the guys that we the guy that we picked, Riley, is probably should be in the NHL year one. In all honesty. I should play him there. Connor Sheary in a fifth for my first. No, thank you. All right, so let's see. What do we got? Ooh. Kapitanov, medium top four defenseman, 74 overall. That's a good pick by the Oilers. Especially late in the round. Kind of want to see if there's any, like, franchise guys that got missed. Or well, There's a lot of 55 overalls. All right, so, so far I think... I, I, like, I like our pick. I'm glad we picked rightly. What else we got to pick from here? Let's sort by sort by potential here. So we got an exact elite undrafted. We got a Byron elite. We got two defense. I don't want to take either of them. I don't want to take any of these guys. I mean, the top six forward I wouldn't mind taking. Uh, projected. Are we down to pretty much just? Oops. Really? Why would it? I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> So we have a couple of first and second rounders. We have a second round. Um, I have Nashville second, so I have I have Nashville second and their third. So I've got top round picks. I'm gonna take a chance on one of these two guys. I'm gonna take the playmaker. Obviously, I'm not gonna take the grinder. Come on. Medium top six. He's an eight. He's a 68. Erickson. Torsten Erickson. Torsten. It's the second Torsten in my GM modes. I've won on the Rangers too. All right. So I think that's a good pick there. Craig Biggeras, Biggeris, from 
Nashville second, my third. 83 overall, two years left on a $4.6 million deal. What's my defense look like? Um, he wouldn't be an awful addition, but I don't know if he's the right fit. I think I'd rather just use my draft picks. We have the sixth pick in the second round. So Nashville actually got lucky and got into the... Is that elite second rounder still here? I doubt it. Nah, he's gone. Damn. And this is going to sort by undrafted instead of... Oh, no, it didn't. Top six, top nine. Um, There was a top six forward, wasn't there? Or did I not see that right? Yeah, we have two top six forwards. They're both seventh rounders. Theodore, top six, center, Guy Theodore. Yeah, let's give him a shot. Top nine forward, medium, eh, okay. I don't want to trade Brophy. I don't want Josh Bailey. He's not a first line center. Get out of here. Alright, um... Top six, top six, starter. I'm going to take Para. Medium starter. I'm always happy to draft starting goaltenders. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Top nine, sniper, some, Hornquist. Maybe probably not worth anything. Seventh D. I don't understand how I don't get info on people in the Canadian leagues with how much I scout them. It's ridiculous in my eyes. Right, so this is a late Kozinek. I'm taking him. His name's awesome. Low top four. All right. Not awful. Not awful. I don't want Josh Bailey. Get out of here. Watch your sixth either. I don't want Josh Bailey. Ooh, somebody got a medium elite there. A Tampa Bay bastards. It's the last thing they need. Should want to see that pick. Where's Tampa Bay? Where is he? Come on. Damn, they got a medium elite and then Schumacher from... Wow. A good pick by Colorado. Medium elite and he's a 69 overall. 70, top 60. Oh. We still got elites up here. We're in the... I'm going to take this Tanabe. Low top six. Not what I was expecting. I'm just going to take these elite guys if they're still here. Camara, or Commodore. Offensive defenseman. Sure. Low elite. 58 overall. All right. I would love for one of these guys to be a franchise. Like, I know we already got our franchise draft pick with Boyd, but come on. Who doesn't want another one? <laughs> Top six forward high. No league interest. I'm going to take Grabowski. Medium top 961 overall. All right. Not bad. I'd say that was a, a fairly successful draft in my eyes. We got the guy we wanted. We made the trade that we needed to. I mean, I traded one of my centers. I probably could should have tried Thompson instead of Suzuki, but I'm okay with it. Thompson will resign as a fourth liner, whereas Suzuki will want to be a second liner when their contracts are up. So I'm okay with doing that instead. I have 24 million in cap space. Who do I have left? Who do I have to sign? Middlestat, Morin. All right, so let's see. All expiring. Middle set, Morin, Glebov, Aston Reese, McIsaac, Shashnikov. So we don't have a whole lot of big names. These are all UFAs. Jack Campbell, I'm going to keep you for the AHL. Matthews, you're probably... I don't know. You are a rookie. All right, so how much does middle stat want? 4.8. Morin wants 4.9. 
Oof. Glebov, 4.3. What do I have that needs to be resigned next year? Zadina, Besser, and Larkin all have to be all come off the books next year. Oh boy. Oh boy. And DeBrus. That's gonna be an expensive Middlestad's actually been a pretty good player, so I really I don't mind paying him that much. 45 points. He's been my third line center. Does he want to be here? Yeah. Uh, let's try 4.5. See if he signs. Uh, Glebov or Morin. I'll keep you around for one year, see what my defense looks like next year. Same for Glebov, one year. McIsaac, I want to lock up. Especially, oh, actually, let's do this. If he gets b better at all, that'll be an awesome contract. Aston Reese for 2.1. Yeah, one year. Again, these one-year contracts are, are just fine. Sorry, Shashnikov, do you want to come back? You gonna have to be in a one-year deal I don't want to uh, Billy Polk is actually not a bad third pairing guy so I'm okay doing that William Carrier I'm gonna let go I don't have a need for you uh, Vorobiev I want to sign Jacob can get an RFA offer Nick Dunkley can get a contract I think it's Nick isn't it Nathan Dunkley sorry Look at my RFAs. Luff. Uh, yeah, I can qualify all these guys. And then UFAs. Brophies. Okay, so we got rookies to sign. It's nice doing this, and I see them all having NHL potentials. I don't think there's anybody in my system aside from Jack Campbell that's got AHL potential. Oops, I had one more guy to sign there. Oh, I can't believe I have to sign my entire first line next season. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well, we're going to have to get extensions done. and There's somebody I missed. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how many contracts I have available, so we'll see if I can sign all these guys or not. To wait and see. Luckily, we didn't have too many big names to sign, so I might have some cap space to work with going into free agency. I would love to grab so middle stat signed, Campbell signed, Aston Reese rejected, Morin rejected, Brophy rejected. I think there was one more rejection in there, but I didn't really. Pay attention since it was a rookie and didn't matter. I still have 14 million in cap space. I still have more in. Didn't I offer him exactly what he wanted? I think I'm going to let him go to free agency so that I can see what's out there. Aston Reese doesn't want to be. Oh, they neither of them want extension, so they're not going to sign. All right, um, fuck it. Oh wait, I need to go make sure Boyd signed before I forget. That's the last thing I want is to lose my franchise goalie because I was dumb. All right, now we've got him for a year. He's going to be the starter. Like he is our goalie going forward. I have to sign a backup, so we might have another rough season ahead of us. I don't know if we'll be a playoff team with him as our starter. Combination of 78 overall goal. I mean, he shouldn't be a 78 come start of the year. I'm hoping. Alright, so is there a top two defenseman here? Roman Yossi. He's 33, though. Ryan Ellis is 32. Will Butcher, 28 years old. Will Butcher's not a bad option. Sasha Kopitz, uh, we're gonna absolutely. Shit, but I actually, you know what? Oh, he can only, you know what? I'll give you a one way. 
He wants 3.7, but he's a rookie, so he can't get any more than that. But we'll give you a one-way deal. Alright, I can't give him any more than that? No. He'd be a nice get. Low elite, out of nowhere. Kyle Connor still wants a whole bunch of money. Uh, I'm going to throw an offer to Butcher. He's, uh, he's... Nobody's interested in him, so, yeah, sure. Mord wants 5.1 now. Dumoulin. Corey Perry's out there. Kasperi Kapanen. Kamenev. Kamenev's actually not a bad goal scorer for the bottom six. He's a 2A forward with offensive ability, and we have to replace Aston Reese, so... More than happy to throw him an offer. And let's see what goalies are out here. I, I don't need a starter. I just oh John Gibson nice. Robin Lander nice. I don't need a starter. I just need a backup. Like Jonathan Quick. You know what? I want Quick to retire a king. And he's not a half bad backup. It's only fair that if he's gonna retire, he should retire here. It would also be nice if these guys sign soon so that I can... Alright, so we got Kamenev, we got Quick, Butcher went to Montreal. Nice! That Kopitz kid. Low Elite, 84 overall, that's exactly what we needed. I need one more defenseman, though. Where are we at cap space? We still have 11 million in cap space. Ryan Ellis, Morin, I don't want to sign Morin. Dumoulin, no. How old's Ryan Ellis? 32? Um, Jonathan Huberdeau. Jordan Eberle, Bobby Ryan, Slepish Slav. Really nobody else up here that really piques my interest. Um, Let's uh, sort by of potential here. What do we got? Some 19 year olds. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> This is the one nice thing about going so deep into these, is that you get to the point where you can get some pretty solid potential rookies that went undrafted. See, man, I want to offer... You know what? What I'm going to do... Ellis is 32. Actually, I'll overpay for him. I'll give him 6 million for one year. Just so that um, Swanson has somebody to play with. Because I don't want to stick... I mean, I could stick him with that Kopitz kid. Why, wow, he went to Montreal. Oh, I have a full roster. Shit. He probably would have came to my team, too, if I didn't have a full roster. Oh, well. It'll probably save me from making a bad choice there. So what does my defense look like? Swanson, Kopitz, Clegg... McIsaac, Polka. Why did McIsaac go down? Gorobiev. Alright, so we're not looking too hot in terms of quality defensemen. Although, do I want to... Oh, I can't use him. He's 18, so I shouldn't sign him. Lee, give him a year of CHL, and then we'll use him next year. And we've got Quick and Boyd. Hopefully that doesn't... Hopefully I didn't screw myself by putting Quick there. Alright, you know what, we're just going to send to the, uh, I need to sign a defenseman. But I don't have any roster space. Shit. I could buy somebody out that has a year left. Um... I don't think I can buy anybody out. No, I can't. You can only buy people out during the resign phase. Shit. Uh, hmm. Crap. Well, I offered all those kids contracts, and none of them are going to be able to sign. Yeah, roster full, full, full. You know what? We're going to send the next season. I'll figure out my defensive situation off camera. We're already 25 minutes deep. Right now our defense is Kopitz and Swanson.
I'll see what I can do in terms of. I can just trade some AHLers for some picks to open up some contract space. I didn't realize that. I mean, I should have because I signed so many. I re signed so many people. Xavier Quillette for Nikita Shoshnikov. This actually might not be a bad move. He's a 79, though. Why are all these guys so bad? I like his stats, though, so I'm going to bring him in. They both got one year deals. Shoshnikov probably doesn't have a spot on the roster, so. So, Kopit Swanson first pairing, McIsaac, Colette second pairing, third pairing, Polka, Clegg, with Boyd and Quick and Net. This might be a rough year. I still need to figure out my second line wing situation. Because my first line is set, but I have a center on my second line, and Colin White. I just need to surround him with half decent players, which currently I don't have right now in my second line. Nope, I want my first line to stay Besser, Larkin, Zadina. Oh boy, who do I have scratched? Two defensemen. Awesome. Goaltenders. Alright, so Kopitz and Swanson. Kopitz is an 86, so actually he might end up being he's and he's a defensive defenseman. So he pairs real well, I mean he's defensive defenseman with five star shooting. Okay. So he's probably going to score a bunch. So him and Swanson are good. Clegg, McIsaac. I'm actually okay with that. We're a little rough down here in these four, but we could be worse. What's alright? What do we got in the AHL? Not a whole lot. What about defensively? Not a whole lot. We have this low elite Emmanuel Vino. But aside from that, oh, Mikhailski. He's already 20. He's not getting any better. All right, we got goaltender wise down here. Matthews and Campbell, NHL. I want Boyd. All right, so Boyd's an 83, Quicks a 79. So Boyd will be the starter. That's good. Joey Smith Pelly, medium top nine, fourth line forward, and I'll leave him down there. He's a two-way forward, two-way forward, power forward, two-way forward. I think my lines are pretty good in all honesty. How they are. The only change I would probably, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put Kempe on the second line with White and DeBrusque, and we'll boot Kreider, Middlestad, Glebov. But aside from that, uh, I might go sign a defenseman because I have some cap space, or I might just figure something out. Either way, I'm not upset with how our team looks. We added some depth scoring. We added a really good defenseman. We got lucky. And then we've got our big defenseman in the CHL, Riley. And Boyd is getting his first crack at the NHL as a starter. So, it's going to be an interesting season, that's for sure. But comments, as always, reactions to moves, suggestions on what I should do before I start the season. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you on Friday for the next Kings video.